Hi everyone, I'm Rhythma Nagalia from the product marketing team at Zendesk. Today, I'm here to talk about how you can get started with advanced bots. But before we dive into how to set up a bot, let's take a few minutes to talk about goal setting. Like any successful project, you must begin with defining your goals so that you can focus your efforts in the right place and easily monitor your performance against those goals over time. There are many reasons why a business or service team might want to use a bot to engage with their customers. Here are a few reasons to inspire you. Are you looking to enhance agent efficiency by deflecting more tickets or improve CSAT by providing a great customer experience? Or you may want to seamlessly scale your service operations without the extra cost. Once you've established your goals and how you will track them, the next important step is to identify which channels you plan to automate with bots. For conversations coming in through messaging channels, you can build automation using the conversation bot. And to deflect queries on email or web forms, easily set up advanced auto replies. Or you can use both depending on your business needs. Before you start building a conversation bot, make sure messaging is enabled and its related channels have been configured. Now let's dive into the product and show you how easy it is to set up a conversation bot. To do so, go to the admin center and select bots from your channel's drop-down menu. Select conversation bot and once you start creating a bot, the first order of business is to give it a name. Make your bot's name unique yet distinguishable so that customers know that they are interacting with a bot. After you've selected a brand and your bot's primary language, you can give your bot a persona that most closely matches your brand tone. AI-powered bot persona allows businesses to maintain service consistency across regions while making your bot a true extension of your brand. Choose a couple of emojis that you would like your bot to use when, re when replying to customers. That covers the basic setup of your bot. Next, let's move on to building your bot's content. We've made it easy for you to get up and running with a bot. Hence, all your default bot messages are pre-configured and editable for, for further customization. If you already have a fully fleshed out help center and want to deflect customer queries using the contents of your knowledge base, you can use generative replies. This powerful capability utilizes best-in-class generative AI to understand customers' queries and craft a human-like response using your knowledge base all on its own. This is the easiest and quickest way to get started with a bot. You can choose to publish your bot and start conversing with your customers. But for more complex conversations that require more guidance, such as transferring to an agent or making an API call, we've given you the flexibility to create custom answers. And we're making it super easy for you to build these answers with answer templates. As a new bot user, it can be daunting to build answers from scratch. That's why we've created answer templates based on service industry's most common use cases. Just pick one you like to get started. As an advanced bot user, you get access to pre-trained intents that significantly reduces the time spent training a bot. But if for some reason these intents don't work for your business, you can always manually train your bot with training phrases. Okay, now that you have some answer templates populated and ready to go, let's make sure you are answering the right questions with your bot. Head to the intent suggestions dash dashboard. This dashboard uses your past conversation data to surface the most common topics your customers are looking for help with. With this dashboard, we also wanted to ensure your team has control over how your bot responds to customers for each of these topics. You can decide which topics are best resolved through generative, generative replies or one of your custom answers. Simply match an intent with a bot answer and you're ready to go. Finally, test your bot before publishing it to make sure everything looks good. Let's switch gears and take a look over how you can easily set up auto replies that allow the bot to intelligently deflect customer queries over email and web forms. Start from the bot page, select auto reply and create a new trigger. 
Give your trigger a name and category. From here, you can set conditions to create custom responses to customer requests via email based on AI predictions about intent, language, and sentiment. What's great is you can also use triggers to set up omni-channel routing to intelligently triage tickets to the right teams based on sentiment, language, and intents. To learn more about how to optimize triggers and intelligent routing, be sure to check out our other video on intelligent triage. Finally, learn more about your bot's performance and optimize as you go with easy to use dashboards. These channel specific dashboards highlight key metrics such as containment rate, resolution rate, click through rate, agent efficiency, and more. Customize these to your business needs and learn from actionable insights that highlight areas that need your attention. That was it for our quick start guide on bots. Thank you.